It's Christina from Card Making Magic. Today I'm going to show you the the Easy Score scoring board, and this is it's a useful piece of, of equipment for any card maker. You can make cards and boxes and your scrapbook pages with this, and there's no measuring because it's all done for you. Now you can use this board if you're right-handed or if you're left-handed. It's all marked up and the marks and the, the instructions are all on the side of the board. Okay, so we're going to make a little project today um, using this board. And this is a nice way to give um, gift tokens or gift cards or even put an invitation in it. So what I'm starting with is an A4 piece of card. Now, with my A4 card, I'm looking for the DL number 5 mark just there. And with the correct side of the card facing upwards, I'm just going to score along that line. Now, the little tool comes with the board. So once I've scored it on one side, I'm going to turn the card around and I'm going to score it in the same mark on the other side and the reason you're scoring it on the correct side is because that stretches the fibers in the card and makes it easy to fold without cracking the card so there's my card folded but I want to make a pocket in this so I'm putting it back onto the board this is the original score line so what I'm doing is I'm moving it out of that score line over to the other one and make sure that it's straight and then come back to the original channel and score it again. So once you've done that you'll be able to then fold that score line and that will give you a little base for the bottom of your box and then I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side there is the original score line move it over to the right hand channel make sure that it's straight and then score down the original channel again and that again will give you another score line to fold And once you've creased that with your bone folder, you will have a little pocket with a flat top and a flat bottom. Now, I don't want my envelope that wide, so I'm just going to flatten it out again. And I'm going to chop off about three centimetres from one side. Keep that piece because you're going to use it now to make the side panels in your box. So there's my little envelope back again and we'll bring the board back in and we'll use this piece. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is pop this back on the board and I'm just going to take a piece that is the length of this. So I'm just going to chop that piece off And we'll have the other side as well. Now make sure that those two are the same size and they will fit along this piece of your little envelope. So what I'm going to do is pop them in the middle and I'm going to score down both of those lines. And I'm going to do the same on both pieces. Now, once I've done that, I can fold these along both sides. And that's going to give me a little insert that will be glued in there. And then the little 
little envelope will be closed and it will be glued along this side and now I've got some sides to my box and that will give me a nice finished appearance to the little envelope but we've not finished yet so we'll just pop these on one side for now these little side panels and what we're going to do now is put some pattern into the box lid so you can decide which way around you want it it doesn't matter they're both exactly the same but we're going to use we're going to shorten one of these with some pattern so I'm going to uh, because I want the embossing to come through this way I'm putting the card with the good side facing down now what I need to do is just line it up and if I use one of the grooves at least I know that that is straight and then all I'm going to do is take a ball tool just take a ball tool and because I want this to slide through the card I'm just going to pop some soap on the end of it and that just makes it easy to glide through the card so we'll start on one end and we'll just follow the pattern through now once you've done one channel if you move it away just a little bit make sure it's nice and straight and go back again you will have a double channel or a double wavy edge along your card so once I've got the double lines in I'm going to come to this this first line at the bottom part of the the flap and with a craft knife or some scissors I'm going to trim that off so once you've got the patterned edge we're going to work on the inside and what we're going to do is pop these side panels in place so I'm just going to put some glue along one side and then I'm going to make sure that it comes down to this first score line and that it's completely on the edge of that card and we'll make sure that that's glued in place and then what we need to do then is apply glue along this side and this side and we're going to glue the box together so I'm using a ruler just to hold that in place and I'm just going to apply that and make sure that it's stuck down to the, the side and I'm going to repeat that on the other side and that will give me the little side panels to my box so I've got the basics to my little um, box and my little envelope completed I'm going to pop that on one side and let that dry so now I'm coming back to the board and I'm popping the right side of the card face down and I'm just putting some soap on my ball tool and what I want to do is create some hearts so I'm just finding the channel and I'm just allowing the ball tool to go around the heart and you can feel it wants to change direction so you can feel where it's going now you do that as many times as you want and when you've done that you cut the hearts out you can either use your craft knife or your scissors but what I've done to mine is once they've been cut out I've embossed them I've just put them through a little embossing folder so that the pattern comes up into the card and that also hides any any wonky bits if you're not quite steady with your scissors or your knife so now my little box is dry and I'm going to do some decorating so I'm going to start on the back and I'm going to add in some lace so I'm just going to glue along the bottom and I'm using a heat um, a hot glue gun and I'm just going to pop my lace in place and that's going to come all the way around to the front and then it will finish off neatly on the back again and then once I've got that in place 
I can just add some glue along there and trim that off. So I've got the, the, the lace in place. I'm just going to flat glue the two hearts onto the, the front of the card. So I'm using Cosmic Shimmer Dry Clear Glue and we'll just pop one there and we'll pop the other one on the top of it and just stagger it down a little bit. And then what I've done is I've um, embossed, heat embossed in silver, um, a chipboard sentiment that's going to sit on the top of the card there. And that just says love. So the last thing I need to do now is just add in some flowers. So I'm just going to put some, along here I'm going to put a nice big blob of hot glue in there and put some flowers in there and trail another one down there and then I'm going to add in some leaves just to cover the stems and again we'll have another leaf down here and then on the top of that I'm going to add in a lovely big rose and then at the back we'll have a chrysanthemum and that can sit along there And then here we've got a nice um, lily. So we'll pop the lily in so that it sits along there. And then into the display I'm just going to pop some, some tulips. So we'll push these into the glue while it's still wet. And I think that's more than enough flowers on there. That looks really, really pretty. So that's a nice way to give um, gift tokens or uh, gift vouchers or a gift card. It's a nice way to put an invitation in to send to somebody and it's plenty big enough inside with the little side pieces and that's a much nicer way to give a gift than just handing over some money. Now to keep this little lid closed all you need to do is just take a circle punch, cut yourself a shape, add some glue to the back of it, just to the bottom part of it and slide it onto your card, onto your little box and that will just allow you to tuck the flap underneath to keep that closed. So there you have a finished project using the Easy Score scoring board. There are a lot more things that you can do with this. I'll pop the link to the Easy Score in the description box below the video. And there is a booklet that you can get with many, many more projects in it, taking you step by step through what you need to do. You can also get a larger board that will make some really pretty shaped boxes for you.